the shit, man. The motherfucking game. I'm a side Hartford nigga. Here we are, Swerve TV, back again, man, with, with the great uh, Fuego Base. So, Base, we're going to get right into it. What was your plans before jail, and what was your mindset with the freestyle video when you first came out? Shit. My plans before jail was to keep doing what I was doing. The shit that I was doing was working for me. So, like, I wasn't planning to go to jail. My plan was to keep doing what the fuck I was doing. And then I ended up in that situation. So I had to get back in the motherfucking survival mode. Like, there wasn't no more music and all that shit for a minute. Like, I was just figuring out the best course to take with my legal situation or whatever. So, like, mm -hmm. once I figured, like, that was straight, then I got back into my music. So, like, pretty much my plan before I went to jail was to keep spitting that shit like I was doing it was working whatever I was doing was working like we don't know what the fuck we was doing this shit trial and error for niggas like us but it was working no doubt alright so word is man like when you was in there you a COVID survivor so can you elaborate on that experience and what that may be like for people that might might be wondering shit man that shit crazy it was crazy and they like Everybody just was sick in that motherfucker. Like, everybody was sick. And it happened, like, I kind of felt like that shit was going to happen, honestly. Because it's just such close quarters. It only take for one person to probably bring that shit in. One of the COs or something. And uh, if an inmate get it, then everybody going to have that shit. Mm. So. All right. I caught that shit. And. Like, a lot of people had it, and that shit don't affect everybody the same. Like, I was diabetic. I didn't know I was diabetic, so that shit, like, kind of sent my body into a shock. Like, I was asleep for, like, eight days. I was in, like, a little diabetic coma. I was on the fucking ventilator shit. I was all fucked up. Well, shit. Now that you now that you out here, man, let's, let's get into... Uh, the next question, how do you feel about putting the light on Hartford? You know, this is a city where a lot of artists have come through. They, you know, they've definitely from New York, you know, this is their go-to spot before they really hit that stardom. So how do you feel about being from out here and now the light's on you? And shit, it is what it is. Like, that was the plan. Like, I wasn't, I'm not in this shit to not win, you know what I mean? Definitely. So, like, me and the people around me kind of expected this shit to go how it's going or whatever, so. Hartford, like, don't really got too many representatives as far as on the national level, so, like, maybe we could change that. What's your next move and where do you see yourself in 10 years? I don't know. Like, I see myself in 10 years somewhere chilling with some money. Like, and we gonna, that's what we gonna figure out, you know what I mean? Do you have any advice to give to, like, the youth on the rise or young talent that might be out there and inspired by you? Stay the fuck out of trouble, man. <laughs> Niggas like, a nigga like me, I'm my own worst nightmare. So, like, figure out how to stay out your own way, man. Do your numbers while you're young. Like, do your numbers. Do what you got to do. Get your motherfucking bread up. What's your opinion on voting in America? And, um, man, niggas need to, like, voting is, is good, but niggas need to start voting on the lower levels. Like, those levels, I believe like more so can directly affect our neighborhoods and shit like that you know what I mean like the president might not give a fuck but if you elect the right elderman or you know what I mean or some shit like that like you might could get a motherfucker in there that wouldn't make a difference and shit so 
That's what we need to worry about. That's real, man. All right, let's get into the music. So are you working on any new projects right now? Like, what's going on? Yeah, I got an EP coming out probably the end of next month or even early August. But we push it for the end of next month. We just got some behind-the-scenes shit, like some business shit we trying to get in order. We want to make sure, like, we getting our money. Mm -hmm. So speaking of like some business and stuff, so where it is that like you know basically how did you how did you link up with Benny the Butcher? Man, Benny, my fucking friend of mine, who was working with Benny, who was like kind of about to start working with Benny, shared a video I had just did. Benny saw it and liked it. Did. So then like he just started invited me to hang out pretty much like we had inbox and shit like that and like from there like we kind of formed a relationship my boy was going up there to work and shit so he started like man bring that nigga then i started going i just started paying attention learning the game and shit like that like bro was doing this thing before i went to jail while i was in there it was like he shot through the roof and got even bigger so now it's like i'm back home and shit Nigga felt like he wanted to give me an opportunity. So here we are. So all the shit I'm doing right now, that shit is just to lead up to my motherfucking album on motherfucking BSF, Black Soprano Family. Shit like that. Produced by DJ Shay and shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we just warming up till that. Like, that's the real shit that's going on right now. All right, man. That's that. That wraps it up, man. For this this interview, man. Swerve TV. Tell my motherfucking mama I'm a rapper, nigga. That's what I told y'all to tell her. Instead, y'all told the fucking task force I had that strap on me, nigga. And look, nigga, I'm still motherfucking all right, nigga. I came out the ventilator in that bitch. I be corona in that bitch, nigga. And I'm back out here, nigga. I'm about to do a motherfucking a motherfucking partnership, nigga, with Benny the Butcher, nigga. Like. Fuck is wrong with you niggas, man. Get y'all shit straight, nigga.